Get ready with me while we talk about the art of being present. Hi, my name is Christina and thank you for stopping by. So today we're gonna to talk about the art of being present. And why am I talking about this? Honestly, I've been on a very long roller coaster inner journey. I am in such a really wonderful, peaceful place in my life and being present is something that I practice often and I practice daily, which has helped me significantly in terms of like my mental and physical health. So I hope what we discussed today will resonate with you as well. So before I get started, I'm just gonna put some clippies in. I'm looking forward to chatting with us as we get ready together. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm gonna be starting off with Fenty Beauty Matte and Fine Primer. I have oily skin and Fenty has been a really great makeup and skin and care line for those with oily skin and of course i'm gonna be using fenty beauty's mattifying foundation again it's really good for oily skin when i go away to a tropical place it stays and it still looks good all right so back to the topic of being present so i don't know about you but i used to always and admittedly i still do do this and i think it's just in like the world of productivity that we're in that this still occurs but i would always think about what's going to happen next like what's gonna happen or what i gotta do in the next half hour hour or two hours or so i'm always trying to get ahead of the game and this puts me in a state of anxiety which is not really fun because you're always on the go 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 it does things to you physically and mentally and it prevents you from being present so what does being present mean for me it means being fully engaged and focused on the current moment and not being distracted by the past or future it's being aware of the here and now both internally and externally makeup by mario master eye set and prep i use this for eye primer for my eyeshadow so internally your senses what are you seeing what are you feeling what are you smelling what are you touching textures all that good stuff also makeup by mario master matte eyeshadow palette i usually use this one for usually my eyeliner and then i usually use this one just for like a simple all over eye makeup look in addition to thinking internally it's also about like what your current thoughts and feelings are what are you thinking about um oh i can't find my eyeshadow brush oh here we go Ta -da! um yeah like what are your current thoughts like what are your current feeling like what's going on and then also being aware of external factors now, what does that mean? It's being aware of your surroundings, whether it be your environment and honestly, who you surround yourself with. Today, I am blessed by having your presence with me and I'm really enjoying this right now. And I'm thankful that you're here as we do our makeup together. <laughs> and what does being present do? It allows you to experience life more fully. Life is I think life is short. You only have one life here on this earth. It's just so short to dwell on the past and to worry about the future when you can cherish current moments and enjoy and be peaceful with current moments. Like for me right now, I'm just focusing on doing my makeup and focusing on having this conversation with you. It's great. That's all I'm thinking about right now. And I'm enjoying it. Eyelash curler. I think being present allows you to have more clarity in life. It reduces stress and it allows you to practice daily gratitude, which is a big thing. And gratitude for like almost everything, which really helps. Like for example, I am so grateful that I woke up and got out of bed today. And I'm so grateful that I was able to have a really delicious breakfast and coffee. I have the privilege of sitting down here with you and engaging with you. How do you practice being present? Check yourself, check your senses. What are you seeing? What are you feeling? What are you touching? What are your thoughts? What are you feeling? Practice gratitude, daily gratitude. And one thing I wanna share is I use the alarm clock to be present. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but it does help, especially if you do have a busy schedule that you have to abide to. How do I use the alarm clock to be present? Well, first of all, why does it work? Because I don't have to keep looking at the time. That makes a big difference. How do I use this? Let's say I have to get out of the house at 3 p.m. and it's 1 p.m. right now. 
Uh, oh, also Fenty Matchsticks. I use this for contouring and it's really great. So sometimes I would like melt it on my hand and dab it or I just go directly in the face, but I'll do a combination of those. Usually I started just doing it like very lightly. I would take this brush and just kind of like blend everything. So how do I use my alarm clock? Okay, so I got to get out of the house at 3 p.m. And it's 1 p.m. right now. And I have some time to kill before I start before I need to get ready and stuff. And I want to read a book. It's 1 p.m. I'm going to read book for an hour. I'm going to set an alarm for 2 p.m. So that gives me an hour to read. Once that alarm starts, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to read. I'm going to be present. I'm not going to look at my time because my alarm clock also, don't forget to turn on the alarm because that will totally defeat the purpose of this. I'm going to turn my alarm and then I'm just going to read. I'm just going to immerse myself in the book and it's going to be great. That's how I use the alarm to be present. Because I'd have to keep looking at the time. What I used to do, there was a setting on your phone where you could leave your phone off, but the time will always be displayed. And that, no, that was not a good time for me. Just because, you know, it's always go, go, go. I know life is go, go, go. But if you can give yourself moments of being present, that's really great. And one other thing that I really like to do to be present is cooking for a variety of reasons. Cooking helps saves you money. It helps you practice a skill and it allows you to be present. Now I'm gonna focus on how cooking makes you be present. Well, one, you know, you don't wanna burn your food and you don't wanna like burn your place down. And secondly, you can be present by just practicing gratitude and appreciation of all the amazing ingredients you have in front of you. And preparing those ingredients, it requires touch and smell and sight. It uses all of these senses for you to prep all these ingredients, cook it, stir fry it, boil it, whatever, bake it, whatever you're making for tonight. And it's rewarding because at the end, you have a really delicious meal that you made for yourself and you practice being present in the moment and just, just focusing on cooking. For me anyways, it really just calms me down forces me to focus being present is also really good in this day and age because i feel like we have really short attention spans if you are on social media i feel like it's really too easy to have a short attention span and i feel like being present forces you to practice being present and also reading books as well that's why i like being read books okay this is milk makeup lip and cheek tint i like this i feel like this lasts quite a bit and i kind of just do that and a little on my lips Blend it in. So yeah, cooking is amazing. And I'm gonna have some cook with me videos and it's gonna be great. And I hope you join me for those sessions as well. Just being present just really helps me tremendously. And I just can't stress it enough. I really encourage it. Even when you're hanging out with friends, just don't focus on being on your phone, turn notifications off or put your phone away. A feature that I have on my phone, I have an iPhone, is that you can add certain people to this list where if they call you, their phone call will bypass silent mode and then it'll start ringing. It's really great if you lose your phone and you have someone on that list that's with you, then they could call you. But I feel like it gives you a sense of assurance that if it's an emergency for whatever reason, if an emergency is to happen, you'll receive that call. I'm gonna put some on my nose too. I know it's not summer. I usually do this on a summer, but I'm feeling like putting some cheeky stuff on my nose. Doo -doo. Just like that. Okay, cool. That's kind of the art of being present. Ooh, I really wanna show you this. This is a Maybelline vinyl lip and this is in color peachy. I really like this one. It's drugstore and I get it when it's on half price. So it's around like $10 Canadian and it's so awesome. It's like transfer proof and I think it looks really nice on. I didn't film this, but before like I start doing my makeup, I would put like a lip balm on to moisten it. And I feel like that really helps with leaving stuff on and just for lip products to go on nicely. So there's the tip. You know how it's curved? I'm just gonna use that to line my lips. And fill it in. And then do the same thing. Line it. And then fill it in. Ooh, not bad. This is like my go-to everyday look. 
So yeah, thank you so much for stopping by and for like making it to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Feel free to write in the comments on any other topics that you want to talk about. I have some ideas in mind, but I would love to hear from you as well. And yeah, I hope this video inspires you to be present. It's a really wonderful thing to practice. And I appreciate you being here and being present with me. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.